Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mocha Lover. I hope you're all having a great day. Let us continue our Brazil campaign as we try to not get completely destroyed in this third Great War. Alright, so basically, uh, we went to war with Russia last time, and right now they are kicking some serious butt right at the moment, which isn't very, very good for us. So, with that in mind, I think we need to put you guys over here. I may need to have a fallback line for all of our soldiers in total, because this is way too many divisions to try to defend against. Way, 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 way too many divisions. Come on, American Heavy Tank, I'm going to really, really need you. And looks like the Russians, they kind of stopped attacking for now, except here. This is really, 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 really not good. High level bombing, awesome, good, we're done with the air doctrine. Uh, close air support, screw it, why not? Yeah, go for Dijon if you can. If we can at least stop the tide of them just coming in, that would be great. Wait, what? 26. Can, they can't pierce us, but they do have air superiority. Uh, you guys go right through there. If we could do that, that would be very, very good. Oh. Russia and her allies are just too numerous. This is why they must be stopped. Uh, you, you can go ahead and pause. If we can encircle two divisions, that'd be awesome. That'd be really, really awesome. Don't you dare stop me, you bunch of bastards. You bunch of motorized Russian infantry. Am I missing any equipment? Uh, anti-tank that I don't use. Ooh, 7,000 artillery pieces that we have available. Come on, yes! Good. We, uh, we've made our first encirclement of the war. I hope you're all proud of what I can do here. Oh god, they're still expanding. God dang it, we made an encirclement and then we instantly lost it. God dang it, now now you're all disappointed. I'm so sorry. I'm doing my best, guys. This is a little crazy. Come on, you, you, with your combined might, you got freaking encircled. What the heck? Seriously, we made our first encirclement just to get re-encircled. Oh my lord. I might seriously have to call a fallback line. Uh, actually, I have used seven. That's good, actually. Uh, go right here. I need you to immediately go this direction. This, These guys will have to stop the tide here. Alright, so we'll probably break, be able to break through, odds are. Come on. I'm in Russia. Russia, what are you doing? I know, I know they are still mobilizing their forces. Jesus Christ, up to 8 million manpower? My God. I do know that they did go with uh, Mass Assault Doctrine. So that is one really terrible thing. Oh good, we got some more supplies in here. That's awesome. At least it looks like we're starting to stem the tide, which is really, really awesome. But holy cow. Absolutely insane. And we're still connected to Spain, which is good. Still connected to Iberia. But trying to push through this mess is going to be so difficult. We're not even done with filling out the line yet. Hmm. All of you? Go ahead and switch to thick Brazilian boys. We're going to need that. We're really going to need that. Uh, even if we can't make an encirclement, that's still okay. Uh, don't worry about attacking. Jeez, 11 divisions? No, stop. 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 For the love of God, I said stop! Uh, come on, game. What are you doing to me? You're making me go crazy. Absolutely crazy. So if you want to attack there, so be it. But I'm going to defend here and here if I can. Let's send one division to Mulhaus. That'll be good. Ooh, maintenance cookies. Very nice. Let's get the next one going. Awesome. You guys are getting more supplies. Castello. Oh, uh, do infantry experts. Since you're already 40 with that, would be fine with me. We might be able to push these guys out. Let's see if we can. All but one go down here. And all of you guys go down here. Give them a little bit of time to start. And then I'm going to send you guys this way as well. Alright, we shall see. We we'll probably can't break through. We do have... We, they, the enemy, does not have air superiority. But we might be able to, able to break through. Ooh, it looks like they are melting a little bit. At least that militia division is. 
which is very, very nice to see. And they are just a bunch of wild ass attackers. Oof. Oh, actually, could we be successful down here? We might be able to. Oh, 13 divisions. Ooh, I like that. Did you break across here? Maybe? Maybe not. Nope, doesn't look like it. Go ahead, I don't want to cause too much... Too much of a loss of manpower equipment. Oh my god. They are attacking once again. Jesus. Well, it looks like we're winning here, which is nice. But we're not winning on a lot of other areas. Alright, you want to attack? I'm down for the attack. I'll attack you right in the back. Level 1 province, Jesus. Hmm. Let's see. 7, they're still healing up. You're still going. You got 9 divisions, you should be able to push them out. Get those American divisions in there. Kick them back out. Kick them while they're screaming. They're trying so hard to cut us off, but uh, obviously that's never going to happen. Oh god, I hope I hope it'll never happen. Take one division and attack this way. Oh, well, you're not even close to it, so don't even worry about attacking that. Um, good, we took back Mulhaus. Oh man, you are... Why are we not winning here? Like, this makes no... You're attacking across a river. That makes sense. That actually does make sense why we're not winning. Uh, but you left this area undefended. Oh, that's great, guys. Good job. <laughs> Eleven divisions. Yeah, this is why we, we had to go to war. There's just way too many divisions here. Way too strong. Oh, gotta love coffee. And it looks like we did take, did take that province, which is very, very good. Even though we left that area completely open. Hmm. Not the smartest move I ever have ever made. For... Take all but you... You guys might be able to win, actually. Focus on this front on the on the right here, on the eastern side. Everything else here is one hell of a mess. What is Russia's casualties like? I know they're still mobilizing. They're mass assault and they're all screaming in the barrels, which is absolutely nuts, but... We have killed one and a half million Russians so far. They really need a modifier in this game. Nice, we took that province back. Where, hey, if you lose, like... 10% of your entire population, you should have some extreme penalties or something. Something like that. Yeah, now they now they've got more soldiers back here. No, that's not cool. Uh what else do we try to destroy? Five divisions. Can you take three divisions as well? Maybe that might work well. I mean, we are fighting the Japanese. Russians, Japanese, we're fighting some Yemeni people, and some Chinese. God, I thought this was, I thought this was Europe. Uh, let's see. Uh, these guys are very weak. We still have guys moving up all across the line. Oh, they are attacking pretty harshly. That is really not good. Can I alleviate anything here? Looks like some of you guys are attacking down here. So to alleviate that, I will do my own attack. To alleviate pressure, do your own attack. Good. Oh, we took that province. Awesome. We will liberate Germany before we're done. Yeah, our attack is not going great, but hey, it's stopping all the other attacks from doing being too harsh. Well, we just caused another 200,000 casualties. Very good. Very good, Russia. Nice job. Alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Whoa, look at that. We can nuke. We can nuke. Now, I don't want to nuke... Wait, wait. I don't want to nuke friendly territory, but technically, this is French territory, and they were a puppet of France, or a puppet of Russia, I mean. So, it's oh, totally okay to nuke this area. That's my justification, and that's like our only nuke that we had. Wow! Amazing. And we will push these guys in, if I can. Come on. Yay! We did it! Uh, send in mechanized. Yeah, even after you get nuked, you're still holding out. That's insane. I'm not winning too well up there, but alright, well, maybe we should call in some boys to help us out. And the atomic bombing of Nancy. Nancy was a rubbish city anyways. No one even liked it. Take one of you guys. Also attack as well. Maybe? Probably not. Yeah, we, we do not have air superiority, which is quite unfortunate. Are they still expanding? It looks like they're expanding. Yeah, this is a bad idea. This is a bad, bad, bad idea. 
Come on. Uh, think, maybe take even one of you guys off the line. Oof. Absolutely nuts. Is anyone tr else trying to invade Russia? Like, China? Oh, China is actually doing fairly well with their disgusting Chinese puppet. Is that a puppet of them? Is this like League of Eight Cities? Yeah, they're the Chinese puppet. The German Chinese and the German Chinese puppet. They're actually doing pretty well, surprisingly. Which is good for us. Muscat. Oh, I guess... Is, is Muscat in our alliance? I guess they are. Alright, well thanks! Thanks for coming on board the Said Ibn Taimua. We are having one hell of a time here in Europe. It is uh, not a good time to be a European. I don't think even right now in our modern day life it's a good time to be a European. But that's just my opinion. That's totally correct. Alright, um, let's see. Yeah, uh, Can we get more supplies, guys? It looks like you are missing a few things here. You need more manpower. And we need more just stuff in general. All right. Well, they are constantly attacking, which is kind of nice to see. Which we usually win these attacks. <clears throat> oh wow! They, the Mongolians nearly killed themselves. Well, that's pretty good for us. Uh, artillery renewal. A lot of the stuff is pretty much outdated already. Who's the renewal? Sure, I guess. Why not? Uh, how was our tank doing? We did want to make one tank division. Uh, what is this? This is the Defense for America fund. Just in case. Uh, actually, I'm going to cause you two to come over here. I'm going to put you three over here. I'm going to put one more. Uh, like, like Lima or something. Just in case. Just in case we might get attacked. Three divisions is very little, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Definitely want to take those guys out. Surprised they're not attacking anymore. Hmm. Realistically, we are just kind of biding our time for the Chinese to finish their version, their portion of the, I guess, technically, Eastern Front. That would be our East. Oh, come on, please launch a massive, great attack. Oh, and it looks like we're getting attacked as well. They got, a, they got so much manpower, I'm not worried about it. They might run out of equipment, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, send you guys, since you guys are not getting attacked. Push these guys back home. Kill them off. They don't deserve to live. They hate their moms. Yeah, Russian Russians hate their moms, don't you know that? Especially in this timeline. They absolutely hate every mom, so they, they all send them to the gulags. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, come on, please end this battle so I can actually... Support these guys. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's in the Ecuadorians. I think. I think that's the flag of Ecuador. Or no. Peru? Where the hell are you from? I don't know, but you're my puppet. They're, you're all the same to me. You're all Hispanic. You're all the same to me, right? Yeah, totally. Totally fair assumption to make. <laughs> totally not going to apologize for that. Alright. Yeah, they're really pushing hard. Holy crap. Some of these divisions are extremely weak. Hmm... We are still pushing. Well, these guys look pretty battered. I say we try that again. And are there any holes I can exploit? This looks like an exploitable area. That'll be good if we can do that. Um, who the? Oh, they're, we're defending. I'm kind of waiting, hoping, hope, hoping, hoping that. We, I'm trying to get the words here, that we can like grind down the enemy's equipment so hard that they'll be out. Come on, push them out. Man, yeah, we definitely need air superiority. That ain't a joke. Um, I doubt I have many planes. Where is an airplane base? Uh, I uh, can't use Luxembourg's darn. Um, alright, Jesus. I have a hundred regular planes, spiders. Yeah, not very much. Well, I got you a hundred interwar fighters. Yeah, go, go somewhere. Did they expand even more? Yeah, I think they did. Holy crap. Yeah, send all but one. It's a bad idea, but get rid of these guys. That's ridiculous. 
You guys should are almost all 40 width. Are you guys 40 width divisions? Yes, you are, and I believe you are as well. That'd be good. Kick them out. Good. If we can actually push them out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That'll help our front line out. Second division. Oh! Looks like they are attacking us. Send half of you guys that way as well. Come on. Just don't break the line too much. Yeah, these guys are suffering from some serious equipment deficiencies, which is nice, nice to see. But some of this is very, very scary. Look how far up they've pushed. Uh, that looks like they're kind of exhausted from attacking. I like to see that. But no, we're not going to attack here if we don't have enough divisions right there. Five divisions. I might be able to save something right here. I'll uh, save one. And then have all but that. Maybe we can be able to push, because they're wasting themselves on the enemy line. So that'll be good. Uh, send you over here. I don't want to lose this. Send you as well over here. Good. Casualty report. The Russians are almost at 9 million. Wow. Oh god, they have another exploit, exploitative pull. Oh, what am I doing with you guys? You guys aren't doing anything. Are you kind of defending? Um, uh, there's an exploit here. You'll be my mobile exploit defense type of guy. God, I would love to nuke again. But, probably not going to happen for a while. Eindhoven looks like a great place to attack this time of year. Uh, we could send one as well in this direction. Come on, 40 with boys, I need you to work for me. I need you to work well. No, I said I said I need you to work for me well. That, God dang it. Ugh. This looks like an area we could, might be able to exploit. Push them across the river. That is a lot, a lot of divisions, though. Oh, this looks pretty good, though. Let's see. That. Send five divisions this way. Yeah. With just a truck and four infantry divisions, odds are we'll be able to do pretty well. Southern France, though, is a giant freaking mess. Let's keep that up. Come on. We can even pierce them. God, some of these divisions are just so garbage from my, from my puppets. We need some help here. We might be able to break those lines. Probably not. Probably not. Uh, we're attacking over. Where? That's why. God dang it. Oh, we might win. We might actually win. You never know. You never. And they're attacking you. Attacking us once again. Ooh, this is not easy. This is not good. But it looks like Russia is starting to lose some equipment, which is kind of nice. Those divisions are only half strength. And across this line, it looks like they are missing a lot of equipment themselves. But they're still attacking. How are the Chinese doing? Not a ton better than we left them, but they are eating up Mongolia and eating up some of the Fengqing government. Which is good to see. Wait, what is this? Oh, the Triad Syndicate has Tianjin. Alright. Hmm. Oh, I guess we're still fighting in North Africa, which sucks. Uh, 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 French Empire? Can we have some divisions, please? C Canada. <laughs> For the love of God, Canada. Come on, man. Look at all, look at all these divisions. What the hell are you doing, Canada? New England? Guys! Guys! Ugh. Come on. Uh. If we fail... Oh, look. The ancient government has failed. But if we fail, Canada, you're never getting back to the Union of Britain. You will be always remembered in history as the people who failed. Uh, let's try and attack again. We're probably going to fail. But that's alright. At least we're trying here. Does anyone have any upgrades? Uh, Isadora Diaz Lopez? No. Well, I should have done this earlier for more defensive doctrine. Uh, ooh. Eluciada. Ooh. Expert. Yeah, we're going to need some more expertise in attacking. No, no one here. And our main general has nothing to make interest. Alright. Ooh. Lord. Oh, we're getting attacked again. Of course. Nine, divi nine divisions. Yeah, come on, guys. Yeah, you, you can do it. Fourteen divisions. i got to redeploy this front line. Holy cow. 
Go ahead and give it a little extra boost there, yeah. Infantry versus infantry, mine usually will win just because they're so thick. I got some thick Brazilian boys here. Oh, we did push those guys in, which is actually kind of nice. Now, with that in mind, do we have enough divisions to actually hold the fucking line? Maybe what we should do first is... Oh God, how are you still fighting this? You all suck! Alright, just stop it. Stop. Stop killing yourselves. Let's go ahead and redeploy this front line. Or maybe it's already perfect. Whatever. Uh, you? Where is this from? I forget where... It... Why are you separated from this group? There's no point for you to be separated. Um... Now let's redeploy that line, then. That'll be... Maybe that'll help out with the placement of our soldiers. Oh, it looks like we are getting attacked here, though, which is not good. Two divisions. Well... Oh, wait, why is this one? No, we can turn that off. Good. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to win there. It looks like the Russians are actually redeploying their own front line. Hmm, do I smell a potential breakthrough area? Well, it looks like we might have a good chance of actually winning. But we might not have a good chance at all. Oh, it looks like they're trying to get more soldiers on the front. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, you know what? I see a potential exploit through here. I don't really want to attack across the river there, though. Oh! Oh! Yes! We have our first tank division, guys. Our first tank division. I'm going to have a sip of coffee first, though. Uh, he's politically connected, but he is a panzer leader. Why are these guys all politically connected? God dang it, it's so corrupt. God dang freaking South American countries. Well, it's only 10% XP loss. And it's really cheap to promote him. Whatever, I'm going to need him. Oh, yeah, give it up. Panzers. 40 width. The first 40 width Brazilian Panzer Divisions. That will lead the charge to strike the enemy out of Europe. Well, technically we are. The only way we can leave Europe is to go to Africa. <clears throat> or Asia over here. God, trying to get these guys to leave Europe is going to be kind of hard. Alright, so we just had a small little boost. Get our guys back up on the front lines. Uh, yeah. Yeah, these guys get kind of... That's alright. That's that's okay. That's most definitely okay. Just don't lose your freaking positions, guys. You know, isn't it like the first rule of uh, like military doctrine? Just don't walk away from your position. Ooh. Oh, actually, movement. Bonus on land. Yeah, let's give them that. That'll be a good thing to have. Hopefully you can get there before everyone else does. Now, from here on out, I'm probably going to have to manually control where we attack. Uh, looks like you guys can actually probably push up this way. Take these boys as well. Benelux is definitely a key area to hold. And they are attacking across this front. It looks like a lot of... Some of the puppet divisions of Russia's have left. Hmm. Casualty report again. 9.5 million for them. 274,000 for us. Oh. Mets. Mets. Oh, they put divisions down here. Check division. No, 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 no. Alright, with this in mind, are you actually winning this battle? If you are, I want to say congrats. And then I'll redeploy the front line here to make sure everything's a little more even across the entire front. Good! Good job, guys. Holding against an enemy across a river is always a great idea. Unless they can come around you. In which case, that is never a good idea. Ooh, nice job. You guys sunk a Russian experimental carrier. It's only an experimental, but hey, that's, uh, that's still something. Alright. Four, five. We could try to attack. These aren't the best divisions, though. But they, they might find some success. I'll give them three seconds. Three. Two. This is the longest seconds I've ever had. Ah, oh, screw it, let them keep going on. We've got Al's there. Whoa! Look at that! Portugal invaded the Benelux, as well as the... Wait, who's that? The American Union State 
My southerners, I have invaded Germany. It's a weird sentence to say, but whatever. Mm. Definitely need to switch my mouth out with some water after drinking this coffee. Ooh, awesome, we got more divisions. Uh, send here. Ooh. Yeah, you guys. What's that S word? Yeah, you guys are sucky. Yeah, that's the S word I'm looking for. Not any other S word. What were you thinking of? Alright, so you guys are here. You just go push in. Those guys should not be able to get there. And since I do this with other games, I'll do that. We'll instantly try to go in. Maybe we can cause an encirclement. Maybe, maybe not. Why don't you go this way? If we could take that position, that'd be great. Alright. Let's break the Portuguese. Uh, we got uh, side winked, food winked. Um, 14 divisions. Wow. Could they strike across the river? They might just be able to. How about you guys? Could you take four divisions to attack across the river? While they're distracted. Um. Hmm. These guys probably wouldn't be able to. Ah, how many divisions over here? Ah, that's not too many. Even though we're not finding success in southern France, we're still finding success in the Benelux, which is actually, you know, it's always a trade-off. Everything's always a trade-off. With a lot of their divisions losing a lot of strength. Japanese tanks are over there with almost no tanks. <gasps> uh, at first, I thought we almost had an encirclement. I was almost going to get overly excited. But then I realized that reality just sets in. Alright. Um, get over here if you can. Help these boyos out. <clears throat> Ooh, an advanced dreadnought. Very good. Give me better. Oh, modern, modern dreadnoughts. I love it. Let's see, are you guys attacking? Is oh no. There's a renewal. All right. Uh, sure. Hope no one's attacking South America, or North America, or Central America. But China. German China is definitely going to get a lot of territory after once this war is done. They are doing spot A work. Ah, uh, yes, American Union State. That's right. Invade and then don't leave any divisions over there. Always oh, sounds like the perfect plan. Alright, so you're not being very successful, so we'll stop you. But these guys. These guys sound successful. Yes, they look successful. And they have taken this goddamn territory back. Let's go ahead and stop. No point to keep attacking that position. There's no point to keep attacking that position. Uh, you guys can just keep going wherever you need to go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, looks like we're not being super successful. Oh, we didn't even take it. Wow. Terrible. When in doubt, try, try again. Come on, at least break across the river somehow, some way. <clears throat> Casualty report, almost 10 million. They've lost five, half of their total number of casualties just to the German Chinese. We, though, however, have not lost very many. It is always nice. It looks like with seven divisions, we should be able to push these guys out. But we are attacking across a river, so we'll take half of you to start the battle. It, there, there are quite a few ports there. Oh, Triple Atani has capitulated. Awesome, so then you're going to attack. And then you will attack. And then you, on the other side, are going to attack as well. We should be able to win. It's only level 2 fortifications with a bunch of divisions attacking. Pretty thick divisions, lots of HP, lots of uh, soft attack. Yeah, we should be able to win. That would be great. North Africa looks like pretty good. Honestly, it looks pretty good. And they're attacking us once again. Every time they attack, we keep losing ground here, which is really not good. Alright, you want to attack? Or you know, I like attacking too. We could push these guys out. I mean, just Jesus. Sub offensives. Alright. It's not like even our ships can really do anything against the enemy. One day. Sounds good to me. Uh, God, look at how sweet that division is. How much manpower does Russia have? I know they have a lot, but. They have a lot of puppets, too. Um. Dwarf Cruiser. I'll do subs. 
They're up to 10 million. Jesus Christ, guys. Armored... Why am I... Modern Destroyer. We're waiting for the next... Just Dreadnought. So that's when I'll switch it over. So right now we're going to have that little icon on the screen. How did we not win that? No, 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 no. No. We got plenty of boys here. Except for you. I want Nijmegan. I don't care how many men we have to kill. We must have it. Ooh, so you guys actually could strike pretty darn well right here. That's a lot of divisions. Uh, you guys could probably help, us, help out as well. I hope to God we've caused a lot of equipment casualties, if not mortal casualties, against the Russians. They're getting attacked. Oh, Korea's capitulating. Awesome. The Chinese are doing spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. Can you guys win against these guys? That would be great if you could. But uh, we all realize it would be great if we could do a lot of things in life. Uh, just go ahead and buckle up. Buckle up, boys. It's going to be one hell of a ride. Uh, let's see. I believe three divisions here. Is there anywhere... Okay, we could probably attack here, followed with you guys across a river. I'll send one from this direction to help out. I hope that you guys can do well. Because really, this is the only front that's actually been able to expand. We've been losing ground through southern and central France, which is kind of ridiculous to think about. How do we continue to lose here? That's why I'm attacking across the river. And I'm not doing very well at that either. Hmm. Well, I'm going to wait for them. I'm going to wait for my soldiers to get more strength first, and then I'm going to attack again, but starting with divisions that are close to this, and then we'll end the episode there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, looks like you guys are... Ah, you guys are good enough. They are very weak, or relatively weak. I need this province, guys. Make sure they, they cannot rebuild themselves up. Come on. We were not able to take that. That is extremely unfortunate. Where is my tank division? Oh, you're here. You are here. Ready to rumble. Ready to kick some Russian ass. Yes. Good. They cannot pierce us. We've got a little bit of close air support. Uh, heavy fighters, screw it, why not? They can't pierce us. This single modern tank division is going to have to prove to the world that Brazil is a modern fighting force. We can't make a lot of stuff, but our tanks, our military is strong enough to withstand anybody's attacks. We might be able to win here. Oh, looks like you guys got all pooped out. Well, some of you guys will have to continue attacking. Good. This is looking good. This is looking better, better, and better by the second. 798. Yes, we did it. Good. And we have taken this province as well. Good job, guys. Great, great, great job. Now, I I know I said I want to do one thing before we end the episode, but I want to do one more thing. I want to make an actual good encirclement before we leave. And right now, I'm trying to let time go on so I can get my modern tank division to get enough organization to kick some Russian ass. Oh, yes. Come up here. Oh, we're attacking Cross River. That's so bad. Oh, that's a terrible idea, but you're doing it anyways. Uh, yeah, give him a little extra gas. Please, for the love of God, make it happen. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of divisions, especially for a one modern tank division. We can pierce them, though, which is always good. Yeah, I don't think that's going to really do great. The tanks are doing fine. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot of divisions to really try that. Yeah, maybe we'll just call this an episode, then. soon. Come on, we can do this. We, we got this, guys. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good soldiers. We're good guys. Uh, you guys are strong enough. Yeah, totally. But this modern tank division will definitely prove to be one of the most decisive things we've ever made. We're putting... I'm literally putting all my baskets... All my baskets. Putting all my eggs in one basket with this tank division. Because if this tank division fails, I mean, we've pretty much lost the war. So. 
All right, uh, we are going up slightly. We went up to 40. Oh, no, we went down. We're back up. Oh, we're going up now. Uh, you guys can probably do a little bit more on your front there. We're definitely taking a little portion of Germany, which is pretty awesome. And for the most part, I can almost, almost confidently say we have stemmed the tide of Russian influence. What the hell? What the hell? Stem the tide of Russian influence in Europe. Oh my god. Now's not the time to have a civil war. Mm. Oh my god. Well, that's a good place to end the episode. So guys, hope you enjoy this episode. I'm glad I left Peru with a few divisions left to pick these guys out. But we'll see what happens in the next episode. We've done I would say we've been fairly successful killing off over 10 million Russians in total. Hope you enjoy this episode as guys well. We didn't get too far ahead, but we've done our duty. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue to try to push the Russians all the way back to Frankfurt. Thank you very much for watching.